Welcome in Pirate fans, Berg fans here for the first game of 2017. We got us a scrimmage here today. It is uh, Wheelersburg hosting, uh, we thought was going to be uh, Huntington, but it looks like Valley. Looks like Valley. Or not Huntington, but Unioto. Uh, Unioto. It's Unioto. like Huntington's sister. Yep. So they are purple and gray and gold. Yep. Gray hats. Uh, the Pirates today in the all gray. Uh, Even Dom is playing today. Yep. Even uh, Dom. Yeah, even Dom wears number 16 when he's in a gray jersey. Home jersey, he's he's even Dom on yep. the road. He gets a little angrier, gets his inner self, turns yep. into odd Dom. Odd Dom, number 15, when he's on the road in the in the white jersey. So uh, you'll be seeing uh, probably two different types of players out of Dom this mm -hmm. year. The even, you know, even kill Dom who real plays chill. at home, real chill, even kill, and uh, get on the road. Odd man, odd man out. Maybe he'll jack some out of the park when I he's odd. So. He's a big boy. So I'd like to see some jacked out of here tonight. Uh, starting for Unioto is um, a guy named, uh, at least the starting pitcher we know, his first name is Jack. Mm. Uh, Jack Wells Jr. Jack Wells. Other than that, we don't know. We're nope. just going to be calling out numbers. Some of them have names on the back of their jerseys, so maybe we can uh, pick those out as they go. Miss B is in the house over by the uh, Unioto dugout. Oh, yep. Yep, and she's waving at us. Hi, Miss B. Saw her at Lowe's today. Yep, she's buying a new kitchen. Not for herself, she's just buying one. Just buying one. Yep. Anyway, we're getting ready to get started for 2017 baseball. Duke of Earl alongside Eddie Deemer. We're back, baby. And we're going to give you some music while the uh, umpires adjust their pants. Thanks for tuning in. Actually doing okay Usually irritated by what people say But I'm doing better cause my radio don't play Your radio don't play No, nope. guess it fell apart with Heartless music and useless artists Don't be a two yes. or a So we heard we had a uh, Couple guys missing today mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh, yeah, the uh, Mr. Coleman is playing in the SOC1, SOC2 all <laughs> We'll bring you uh, some live action at some point today. He will not be here. I think he's the only one. Again, that, that is Coleman. Yep. Caden. Caden Coleman, yes. Yep. His brother is here, Caleb. Starting lineup today for the Pirates, they are... Um, let me think. They are... They don't have an 11 in the lineup because it's a scrimmage. Trey Carter will be in left field, batting first. Even Dom, batting second, DH. Batting third, playing third base, Cole Dyer. Batting fourth, playing first base, Cole Darnell. Catching and batting uh, fifth, Xander Carmichael. Batting sixth, the other designated hitter, Ethan Tampaneris. Then the shortstop, Jalen Miller. Pitcher, Caleb Coleman. Right fielder, Nick Marvin. Second baseman, J.J. Stamper. And the 11th man in the lineup, center fielder, Cam Howard. Cam Howard, so he's holding down that center field this yep. year. He's got wheels out there, so he'll be wheels. able to flag a lot of uh, balls down out there, do some shagging out there. And looks like both teams are getting ready here. Coaches yep. shake hands. Uh, We're going to Heimbach out here. It's officially, it's, it's, it's how baseball does it. 5.30 start. It's 5.32, so we can start now. Yep. Baseball's always. Start when the team gets here. Yep. And. Coach Heimbach now thumb wrestling with one of the Unioto coaches. Uh, maybe that's to see who bats first. I don't I think know. So. Okay. And it looks like uh, uh, Heimbach will get the pin on that, and, and he, he will choose to pitch first. Yep, because he's a pitcher. Yep. 
Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Your broadcast today is sponsored by Deemer's Market here in Wheelersburg, the capital building of Wheelersburg, Deemer's Market on Center Street, along with the Wheelersburg Buccaneers, who will be in action uh, starting May 27th here in Wheelersburg. Double-A minor league football. Can't wait. And here come the Pirates out on the field. Now they have seven in the batting order, but they're only or 11 oh, in the no. batting order. They can still only play nine in the field. They can only play nine it's in the field. Rules, yeah. That's right, that's right. They don't have three catchers or anything <laughs> like that. Speaking of catchers, who is behind the plate today the for man, us? The Xander man. Xander Carmichael. Xander Carmichael. Old school. Old school. I remember he uh, he was kind of upset during football season because we kind of stopped calling him old school yeah, a little bit. Our bad. My bad. My bad. Well, well all hell broke loose when I called uh, Clint Hatfield ever Hatfield. Yes, yes, it all did. Hell broke loose. Yes, it did. That was a good. That was a good time. As soon as I said, I, I remember looking at my spotter, and he's just his eyes were just lit up. <laughs> And with us today is, of course, uh, <laughs> the Deemer's Rooster and uh, our new star, <laughs> Beavis. <laughs> Beavis the horse. Looks like leading off for Unioto is number two, Edler. Edler, yep. He is a cousin of Al Oliver. Yeah. Looks like he will be batting right-handed, even though he's uh, left-handed. Wearing his left shoe on his right foot. Mm -hmm. And his helmet's too small. Yeah, helmet helmet is way too small. It's sitting on the top of his head. Looks like a thimble. Yep. And occupying first base over there is uh, Darnell, number 28. That would be Cole, one of the Coles on the team. Yep. we got a Cole Dyer and a Cole Darnell. What other duplicate names do we have here for the Pirates? I don't think we have any duplicates. We have some. We have a May again and another, a Marshall again. Another May, another Marshall. So we got a mailman and an all-day May. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one's all night May. It's all night. Yeah. Big play May. We'll call him Big Play May if he makes a big play. Uh, the well, Coleman Coleman's are those tw are those twins? Yep. Caden. Caleb's pitching and Caden's playing basketball. Yep. Let's check in with uh, Caden real quick. <laughs> Sounds like he's dribbling. Doesn't sound like there's very many people there to watch that All-Star game. It's at Webster. Oh. <laughs> and here comes the first pitch from the windup. Delivers a fastball high and inside, swung on and fouled back into the cage. And it already made me jump. Yep. I know that it's not going to get me, but I jump anytime. We've got the field mic on today, so you can hear what's going on down on the field a little bit. Here comes the pitch. Gets the sign, likes it, winds up, throws, fastball, low for a ball. It'll be one and one. So, um, who's on the mound for us today? That would be um, Caleb Coleman. Caleb Coleman. Okay, yep. he's wearing a different jersey number as well. Oh. And there's a liner to third. You don't. And you're gone. Take a seat, batter. Next up. Cole Dyer at third. Dyer at third. And, uh, again, uh, pitcher wearing number 17 today. That kind of threw me off. Oh, but that is uh, – uh, who is that again? Cole? Caleb. Caleb Coleman. Caleb Coleman. Okay. All right, now we've got a left-handed batter up. He's number three, and he's white. White. Skinny. Here is the pitch. Outside Ooh. corner for a strike. Ooh. Nice pitch. Nice placement of that ball. Infield is at uh, normal depth here. And third baseman creeping up a little close. This one's fouled off deep and out of play. That'll bring up 0-2 to white, number three, for Onyenoto. Tiny bat. That is a small Louisville slugger. That was high and away for a ball. Tried to get the batter to chase, and he held up on that one. Count is one and two to White. <clears throat> Infield now normal depth with two strikes. Third baseman back behind the bag now. Here's the wind up and the pitch. See? Called strike three, same as the first pitch on the outside edge. Two up and two down here in the top of the first for your Wheelersburg Pirates. This kid here is a pretty big kid. 
Here comes uh, number a, five. Yep, number five, a big kid named Ogan. Ogan, well. Yep. Ogre. Ogre. Hit ball far. Teach me to baseball. <laughs> and gets the sign, likes it. Here's from the windup. First pitch right down. Bonnie Camp called strike. Batter was not even swinging. His name could be Logan, and they dropped the L. It could L's be. Silent. Or it could be Hogan. Yeah. Hawk son. Or Rogan. <laughs> uh, that's low and away for a ball. One and one. Nice heat on that pitch there. Looked like maybe a slider trying to come yep. in the back door there, but didn't quite make it. Quickly from the wind up here, working fast and again low in the dirt. That's going to make it now two and one to Hogan, Rogan, Jogan. Before we get too far, I want to give a shout out to the greenskeeper today. The, the greenskeeper? <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh my gosh. Unreal how good the field looks. He had to start like last night to yeah. get it done like this. You would think, you would think we had a dome on this place. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I. Uh, I sent an email to uh, Mr. Knapp yesterday asking him if we could go ahead and get a dome. <laughs> so he didn't reply. Here's the pitch. Right down. Bonnie Camp again. Ogan watches it go by. It's two and two. Quickly again. Fastball. Low and away. Oh, well, that must have been ball. Four because he's yeah. taking a walk. No, nope. number sixteen. Spin around, son. Burns. Burns. Mr. Burns, son, off the Simpsons. Yep. I don't see any sideburns though. Nope. Not living up to your name, son. I don't know if it's just me, but all their helmets look too small, and it's bothering me. That's the new. Uh, uh, the new look. The new edge look. They're made of paper. High. Right down Bonnie Camp. Called strike one to Burnsy. Yeah, actually, the uh, seventh grade art class for Unioto designed Paper these helmets. Shade, those helmets. Yes. <laughs> Infield normal depth being held on at first base. And that one's low and in the dirt. Carmichael, old school, will check the runner at first. Makes it look so easy back there. Yes, he does. Scoops it. Perfectly every time. Short lead at first base for the runner. Number four hitter at bat. Burns watches that one go by, and it is just off the outside edge for a ball. Two and one is the count. Says Blue. Not that it's a problem, but we saw about before the game. Remember, there's a pitch count this year, 125. Yes. This is most, most anybody can pitch in one game. 125 pitches, and you're done in a game this year. Here's a grounder. That's going to get through the gap between first and second, and everybody's safe. Just a slow roller there here in the, uh, in the somewhat wet uh, grass. Just hit it off the end of the bat and got lucky there. So runners on first and second here in the top of the first for Unioto, and coming to bat is Patrick Patterson. Hmm. Number eight. Two outs, two men on. Infield at normal depth here. Nobody being held on. They'll check the runner a second, but here comes the delivery. It is a pitch and a strike right down Bonnie Camp. 0-1 oh the count. The catcher book is on deck for Unioto. From the stretch, delivers, swung on, hit right back to the pitcher. Pitcher will walk it over to first, toss it, and get the third out of the inning. That is it. One walk, one hit. One walk and one hit, and three outs here in the top of the first. We'll head to the bottom of the first. We'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. First, let's check on uh, Caden Coleman. Score still 0-0 zero to zero there as there is no shot clock. They're just dribbling it around. Yeah, they're in the fourth quarter. I think, um, what's his name from Oak Hills, the coach? Storm. Uh, Storm. He just said run four corners. Yep, run four corners. All right, we'll be back. We'll give you some cadence drums.
getting ready to go here for the bottom half of the first inning. Pirates will be at bat. Leading off will be number four, Trey Carter. He's your left fielder today. Pitching for Unioto was uh, eight, Patterson. Patrick Patterson. He's 6'9", I believe. And uh, I think his eligibility ran out years ago. Um, it's a scrimmage. College-wise, but yeah. he still has some high school eligibility left. Right now, the fan count for Wheelersburg is about 30 to Unioto's one. One, yep. It's a pretty good fan count here for a uh, scrimmage game. Very nice. If you don't anything to do, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. We're going to be another scrimmage game tomorrow. Yep, right back here. Against the Galpolis Blue and Green Devils. Home of the best high school football coach you can find. Right. All right, here comes the batter, Trey Carter. He'll line up left-handed. As the leadoff hitter, the infield will come in to uh, check on uh, the pitcher there. Um, forget his name. He used to play for Kentucky. Patrick. Patrick Patterson. Patterson. Yeah. Umpire shakes his head no. He doesn't like the the, the ball. No. It's all waterlogged. Yep. He's wearing an umpire mask that he bought in the 70s. Also made out of paper mache. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, here comes Trey Carter and Patrick Patterson ready for the pitch. You hear the rally claps going over there in the Pirate dugout. First pitch from the windup, an odd ball windup. Throws yep. it fast, but outside for a ball. Pitcher moves his back foot first yeah. on the windup. That was uh, I watched him warm up. I thought he was just goofing off, but that's odd. It's different. He takes two steps there. It's never seen that. It's kind of like before. he's starting from the windup, but by the time he gets th gets started, he's actually starting from the stretch. Right. He's winding up before. Yeah, he gets he's winding on up, the, and then he puts himself in the stretch, and then he throws the ball. It's it's different. Right down Bonnie Camp for a called strike. As long as you don't stop, I guess you can do what you want. Yep. Trey Carter in there again. Left-handed hitter. Crowding the plate. His job is to get on base. Here's the odd ball wind-up from Patrick Patterson. It is low and inside, and that'll make it 3-1. and one. Trey Carter trying to buy a walk here. On deck, even Dom. Even Dom on deck, number 16. Maybe if their uniforms get real dirty, they'll wear white tomorrow. That'd be great. And high and outside for a ball. Trey Carter opens up the 2017 scrimmage season with a walk. Full oh, base percentage is outstanding. <laughs> Thousand. No late barrels, he oh, says. Did. Here comes number 16, even. Dominator. Trey Carter on first. Good oh. lead there. Dom swings and misses. Check, check swing, swing, but he went through, yeah. and it is a strike. So it'll be 0-1. A book operating behind the plate here for Unioto. And Trey Carter stretches out his lead. A little extra half step. Swing and a miss again by the Dominator. Man, if he got a hold of that one, we may have oh. never seen that ball again. Nope. It'd be sitting in South Webster waiting for the first regular season game. Yep. Third baseman over even with the bag. Runner being held on at first. Some good gaps here. And that is going to be a called strike three on the inside part of the plate. Now up third baseman, Cole Dyer. Dyer. Cole Dyer. Number 18. Right-handed hitter out of East Manhattan, New York. Carries a yellow bat. Swung on hit, but foul and out of play down the first base side. And speaking of the first base side, we do have uh, Coach Matt Kahn with us Con. today. Looks like he's put on about 80 pounds over the winter. 80 to 82. 80 to 82, uh, unless he's just covered with batting gloves. I'm not Might sure. Have been. I'm not sure. He might be cold, and that's just a big coat. Saw Shane Kemper today. Yeah, we did see Shane Kemper. It's always good to see Shane Kemper. What? 
He was voted uh, prettiest coach in uh, baseball. Four, four years in a row? Four years in a row now, yep. Again, third baseman about even with the bag. Runner being held on at first is Trey Carter. There's a swing and a miss on a good pitch. Just off the outside edge. Had some movement left to right there, and uh, batter couldn't catch up to it. Cole steps in the box. Pitcher from the stretch. Carter with a decent lead over there. Not being too aggressive. And that is high and away. Good pitch, but just off the outside edge. That'll make it an even count now. Two and two. Even count to Cole Dyer, third baseman. Now he reaches up the bat and points out to the McDonald's sign. Big hanging curveball, and that's going to be, it stays up high. Three and two is the count. Wonderful if we'll see a guy at first base take off running right here. Full count. And Trey Carter will extend his lead out just a bit here. We'll see if he doesn't get it moving. He's jumpy. No, he doesn't go. And oh. that'll be oh. ball. Looked like ball four. Yikes. Preseason, uh, I guess everybody needs practice. Yep. Big old strike zone. That was low, but yep. uh, strike three. Up to bat the other Cole. First baseman Cole Darnell. Yep. They say Cole's making a comeback, so we got two on our team this year. Let's see if it uh, doesn't help us. So. Left-handed hitter, number 28, Cole Darnell. First pitch is hit right in front of the plate, and it'll be thrown out at first base, and easy out, and Pirates get one walk, strand one runner. That's Trey Carter, and we'll go to the top half of the second. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Brought to you by Deemers and the Wheelersburg Buccaneers, as well as the C Store, where you can get your daddy pop today. Daddy pop. Newsom, what do you think about that? Baby Lions are the devil. devil. Sounds like he's been to the C Store. And we'll be right back. Thanks, everybody. We all must agree We like to get groovy with the sounds of the old time We like to jam cause man sound from the band Stand hand from the cars man hang from the old ones The tones, the gears, the props and the ride Very much simple, chill the outside Way back, way back From where I knew it was really sort of I'm a child of the 80s of so where I departed and Since then I saw the a collection of the people who started it all I reckon therefore I got to my side like mine Blues music Blues All right, here we go. Top of two, no score here in the opening scrimmage for 2017. And the first pitch is right down Bonnie Camp. Strike one. Caleb Coleman again working on the mound here out of the windup. Working quickly, delivers low and inside for a ball. One and one now the count to Book, the catcher for Uniota. Again, our new feature now. We've got our field mic on today, so you'll be able to pick up some of the sounds from the field. Hear some of the players' chatter. And the coaches' chatter as well. 
and the birds chirping. It off the end of the bat. First baseman there to scoop it. Darnell scoops nice. it over to Coleman, yep. who gets there to cover in time. Nice play. Nice defensive play. Good reaction by the pitcher to get moving over there as well. One up and one down here in the top half of the second inning. And this is Putin. 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 Sorry. From the wind up. Ooh. This year we're going to get back to doing the player of the game. Yes. Good. Yep. Good deal. Here comes the pitch from the wind up. That one's low and in the dirt. Swung on, hit hard, high, right field, and out of play. Just out of play there. Good chase out there by the right fielder, Nick Marvin. Speaking of the Deemer's rooster, there he is. How you doing, roost? Been uh, busy with all those hens. <laughs> keep keep the uh, egg population up and whatnot. Swung on, hit hard, high, and back out of play. She must be doing good because uh, eggs are 50 cents. Really? 50 cents. Wow. 50 cent eggs? Yeah. Jeez. A whole carton of them. Wow. And give it away. Yep. Swung on, hit hard again. So he's making good contact here, but the good pitches Just are dent, causing him to foul them off. Denting the track to pieces right now. Yep. There's a kid on a Segway. Well, they, they said he was going to compete in the 100-meter dash on the Segway. <laughs> That's a new event this year, uh, Segway long jumping and the Segway pole vault. They're bringing it back. Coleman from the windup delivers low and away for a ball. Ooten watches that one go by, and we got a full count. From the windup, gets the sign, likes it, delivers. See Swing you. and a miss. Take a seat, Ooten. Ooten. Both teams have two strikeouts so far. So two down here in the top of the uh, second inning. We need a pitch count uh, thing on the scoreboard out there. Yeah, we do. Tell us how many pitches he's got because I can't count past eight. Yeah. Right down Bonnie Camp. Beautiful fastball right at the knees. Strike one to Cottrell. Oh. Inside pitch, swings on it, right back to Coleman. Coleman throws over to first, gets the out, three up and three down. I think he just broke his little back. I he think he broke did. his hand. That bro that shattered every bone in his hand, I'm pretty sure, because uh, that did not sound solid at all. <laughs> I'm going to check in on uh, the other Coleman now, who is playing basketball. Still zero to zero there. Overtime. Overtime. Going into overtime. And, uh, yep, lots of dribbling there. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be right back here on BerkFan.com. Game time on.
working quickly here as we go to the bottom half of the second inning. Number nine up to Zander. bat. That is old, old school. school Carmichael. Low and away for a strike. Eesh. Pitcher working from the stretch now instead of that odd ball yeah, well, windup. Might as well. Yeah. There's no reason to go from the windup. No. And there is a uh, called strike two to old school. Now it's his pitch. No choke up. No need to choke up. Watches that one go by. It is at his ankles for a strike three. It's his... Pitcher's got three strikeouts so far. Yep. Now Out coming to bat, to bat. DH. Ethan Tempaneris. Ethan Tempaneris. The N is silent. High and away for a ball. Again, the pitcher for Unioto started out the game in a windup that we've never seen before. And uh, now he's just working from the stretch. Matt Kahn still down there, well over 400 pounds. Mm. Off the backstop. Oh, right off the backstop, right into the field, Mike. Probably felt that one at home. Hear the rally claps over there for the Pirate dugout. They're trying to get it together over there. I think it's only about half right now. Yeah. Swung on, fouled back into the screen. I know nothing about Unioto this year, but normally um, they're pretty uh, pretty decent baseball school. Yeah. They play uh, just as many games at the VA as we do. And uh, if, I, if I imagine correctly, I think they're a division bigger than us. I believe so. Yep. And it's always been a pretty solid baseball program up there for the Chillicothe area. Got one ball and two strikes with one out here in the bottom half of two. No score Ooh. on the board. A swing and a miss by Tempanaris. Caught him on the big hooking curveball. Reached for it, but did not make contact. Now we've got timeout. The catcher wants to go discuss tonight's plans after the game on the mound. That's Patterson's fourth K. He's struck out four of the six batters so far. Yep. Batting for the Pirates. Shortstop, number 10, Jalen Miller. Jalen Miller. Take me a few games to get familiar with these yep. guys. I've seen a lot of them in, you know, in football uniforms, and and you can't tell what they no. look like when they're wearing football uniforms. Swinging a miss by Jalen Miller. Like we had no idea who even an odd dom was. Right. Of no course, idea. he has got he's two people at one time. But yeah, I tell you what, talking about football, even an odd dom <laughs> and Carmichael next oh. year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Linebackers. If I Woo! was an offensive coordinator, I'd just be like, listen, punt. <laughs> Punt on second down. Yeah. Next year's team will be fun. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. All right, left-handed batter in there still. Count is one and one with two outs. Swing and a miss on a high and away pitch. That'll make it one and two. Again, this is a uh, preseason game here at Wheelersburg. So you have 11 batters in the lineup for the Pirates. And um, Unioto's coach is... Uh, Riding wiping. a small donkey around. He's somebody. riding a small donkey around and uh, has potato chips all over his face. But he has a Ball heck, two. Of, heck of a goatee. Yep. He's got barbecue sauce stuck in his goatee also. It's purple. Purple barbecue sauce. From, he stopped in Lucasville and bought it at the prison. Count is two and two. Here's the pitch and a swing and a miss as the pitcher for Unioto. That's five. Has racked up five Ks now in two innings. Yeah. So uh, he's he's putting on a show out there. Pirates need to find uh, some way to make the bat hit the ball, and I think they would be better off. What do you think? Sounds like a great plan. Yep. Coleman up for the shot. Oh, no, it's fake. All right, and we'll be back. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here on Bergfan.com 2017 Baseball.
sponsored by the Wheelersburg Buccaneers, sponsored by Deemer's Market and the Deemer's Chicken <laughs> player of the game, as well as your Daddy Pop headquarters, the C Store on Ohio River Road and 140. Thanks for tuning in. Bergfan.com. <laughs> pack those guys around with us. I mean, there's only Every two of them left. Go. One of them uh, <laughs> passed on a couple years ago. Uh, shout out to MC Adam Yauk. Uh, but uh, Beastie Boys are with us today, so you'll be hearing a few different tunes from them. Here's the wind-up. Swung on, hit hard, line drive, but foul. Right off the Marty Brenneman VIP section. Of yes, that. it was. Yep. Not quite to the cheap seats. You actually have to pay to be right there, but if you go back about 10 feet, you get the cheap seats. We don't have to pay to get in. From the windup. Delivers. That is been a strike all night. Been a strike all day, but not this Jeez. time. One and one is the count. Delivers again. That time it's a strike. One and two. Again, it's Caleb Coleman on the mound. He shakes off the first sign. Let's see what he delivers here. Here's the pitch. Another heater, and it's popped up. Foul, and this one does go into the cheap seats. Oh, just missed a moving vehicle. He could have got 10 points for that one, but the car was in drive and uh, just avoided it. 10, 10 insurance points, that is. Here's the windup. Pitch low for a ball. We'll go to two and two. We are in the top of the third. Now the umpire is going to come out and uh, throw a new ball to the pitcher. And he's going to throw the old ball over to Coach Eastep, who catches it barehanded. And I don't know what he's going to do with it. He's going to take it into the dugout. It's gone. He's, he's pulling the threads off of yep. it. Send that it is a nice off-speed pitch right at the letters called strike three froze the batter up and it's another strike strikeout out. today so there's three strikeouts for coleman look is that what's it, what's it say long boy it is uh long coy oh long coy at bat from the wind up delivery that is a nice pitch on the outside edge Number 22, Long Coy, the batter. Caleb Coleman shakes off the sign. Let's see if we get the off-speed pitch. No, he's happy with the heat. It's going to the first baseman, scooped up by Darnell. Darnell taps the bag for the out number two. Throw it around the horn, baby. Pirate pitching and defense looking good so far today. Now batting for Unioto, number 10, Fife. Fife. That must be Barney's son. It is. It's F-I-F-E, uh, spelled just like uh, Barney Fife, who learned long ago that you don't fight fire with fire. Infield shifts to the right just a bit here with Coleman speed. There's a liner, and it's going to get through the gap. Base hit. Only the second base hit of the game with two outs here in the top of the third. Now batting for Udioto. This is the top of the lineup, number two, Edler. Edler. Graduate of Cincinnati Edler. Elder. Hey, 
side note on Edler, his uh, his family has a goat farm in Minnesota. Nice. They only uh, breed in the winter. Downtown St. Paul, actually. Here's the wind up from Coleman. Off the outside edge, Steerike one. Painted the black on that one. Your umpire today is Samuel L. Jackson. Had to clear the snakes out of the field before the game because he's scared to death of them. There's ball one. One and one is the count with two outs here in the top of the third. Edler at bat. Edler with a long, long history. His family of uh, goat herding and farming. And now he's trying to take on baseball. And right there's a check swing and called strike one and two. I believe I will be spending this weekend with the greatest umpire of all time, Brett Munn. Brett Munn, yes. He's going with me to the basketball game this weekend. Poor guy. (laughs) (laughs) He is a great umpire. And there's a called strike three. That'll be four strikeouts now for Caleb Coleman, the pitcher for the Pirates, and we'll head to the bottom of three with still no score. Only two hits in the game, both by Onyanoto. Thanks, everybody. We'll be right back. Some of my various tattoos. Trayvon, the Oscar Award winning Ayana Jones. Jones. I will take uh, take note that Matt Kahn is no longer sprinting around uh, the the base pass. It's more like the watermelon crawl. It is the watermelon crawl. Yeah. Normally he uh, would come out of the a dugout, make it to a round uh, home plate, and then sprint to his first base box. Well, I think maybe he's lost because there is no first base box today. Yep. And he's out there actually hanging out. He just stole some sunflower seeds out of that guy's back pocket in the Uniardo <laughs> dugout. He sure did. Man, he's a thief. Caleb Coleman, now up the bat, the pitcher. Let's see if the pitcher can help himself out here and get the first hit of the game for the Pirates. Five strikeouts by the Onionoto pitcher. Patterson, Patrick Patterson, out of UK. Called strike on the inside part of the plate. We'll go one and one to Coleman. Called strike on the outside part of the plate. One and two. The umpire loves that outside of the plate. He does. Low and outside. It's... 50% 50% of the time, he's going to call it a strike. <laughs> There's the curveball, swing and a miss on the off-speed pitch. That one stayed up high. Batter swings under it. Number and six. That'll be number six strikeout for Patrick Patterson. It is a scrimmage, so they're allowed to pitch, you know, former college basketball players. Now batting for the Pirates, deal. right fielder Nick Marvin. Marvin. Nick with a C, and I see Marvin, right fielder. The yellow Easton bat, right-handed hitter. First pitch, inside and low for a ball. 1-0 the count. Infield at normal depth, outfield line straight away. 
All zeros on the scoreboard. And some low pitch called strike. Go to one and one here to Marvin. Marvin with some pretty good wheels. If he can put one, uh, put one on the ground, he's liable to run it out. And that's going to be low and away. And a strike. One and two. Yeah, that outer half's been called all day, so uh, guys are going to have to crowd the plate from that right-handed batter's box. Again, outside batter almost chased it, but he checks up. Be two and two. Got Coach E. Step mic'd up down there. He said, "Come on, babe." Swing and a miss by Marvin. That will be strikeout number seven for Patrick Patterson tonight. Is that right? Seven or six? Was that another one? Yeah. That is number seven. Number seven. So we got two outs here. My boy's up to bat. In the bottom of the third. J.J. Stamper. J.J. Stamper steps into the batter's box, digs in. Pitcher from the stretch. Third baseman up along. Even with the bag here, first pitch is a called strike on the lower outside part of the plate. Oh and one with two outs, bottom of the third. No score on the board. Patrick Patterson with seven strikeouts out of eight batters so far. He does have, he did give up one walk. Yes. From the stretch, checks the runners that aren't on any bases and throws it low and away. Ghost runners. <laughs> yeah. One and one is the count. Again from the stretch, delivers low and away, and he's going to let that one go. The umpire does, says that's a ball. Two and one. Again, low on the outside part of the plate, but plenty low down around the shins, and it's three and one to number one, J.J. Stamper. Patterson delivers way outside. There's another walk, and walk number Pirates two. have a base runner here in the bottom of the third with two outs. Let's see if they can take advantage now as a left-handed hitter. Cam Come Howard. In. Cam Howard. Stamper with a moderate lead over there on first base. Pitch is high and away to Primetime Junior. Did you hear the dugout? Leave that lightsaber up there. <laughs> Green and black bat here for Howard, and he leaves that one high. Again, it's going to be 2-0 and oh, as maybe Patterson all is starting to wear down. All those strikeouts are yeah. wearing on him. I don't think he likes left-handed batters. He may not. I don't either, particularly. And, and again, low and away. It's going to be three and zero oh here, and I believe Howard will probably be taken all the way on this one, unless he sees one right down Bonnie Camp that he can drive to Bonnie Camp. Top of the lineup on deck. Hoover with a moderate lead again, and that's low and away. Ball four, four straight balls, two straight walks, and the Pirates are in business. Two men on first and second with two men out, and here comes the top of the order: Trey Carter, the left fielder. Do you ever see what Texas A&M does at their baseball game? Uh-uh. If the pitcher walks a guy on four straight balls, they stand up, the whole crowd and goes, ball four, ball four. And then if he throws another one, ball five. Really? If you go on Facebook, the kid gets up to 11 straight balls because he was completely just mind-boggled. Oh, man. 
fouled back into the screen. Nice hard throw and a nice hard swing by Trey Carter. Might want to check our microphone on that it's one. It's taking right? a pounding today. Yep. Two men on, two down. Trey Carter, left-handed batter in there. That's away for a ball. One and one. You may be onto something here with these left-handed batters. The first walk was a left-hander. The third walk was a left-hander. And now he's 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 got that. I don't. I just he likes to hit that outside corner to right-hand batters, and he just he can't hit that outside corner to left-handed batters. Right, because he'd be hitting them in the yep, shins. So there it is, right there. Yep. High and outside, and that's a ball. So if he threw the pitch like he does the right-hander, so all of a sudden that's an inside pitch, and I guess he doesn't like throwing inside. Must not. Two and one the count now. Trey Carter choked up just a bit on the bat. Ready for the pitch. Swung on. Check swing and fouls it away. Didn't fully commit on that swing. It was high and inside. Two and two now the count. Pitcher does a good job changing the batter's eye level here. He does. He's been all he's over got the place. Eight, he's got seven strikeouts, three walks, but hadn't given up a hit yet. So. Yep. His pitch count is probably atrocious right now. Hitting. Whoa, that one hit bounces him. in the oh, dirt. Looked like a hitting. And catcher took a pretty good shot there to the chest. Yep. Knocked the breath out of him a little bit. Both runners advance. So now with two outs, Pirates have Howard on second and, and Stamper on third. And look who's on deck. Even Dom. Even the Dominator. It's full count. Two outs, payoff pitch is due up. Howard can score easily from second on any base hit. And the pitch, Carter drills it and fielded by the pitcher and gets out number three, so no damage done. Pirates strand two as we head to the top of four. Still no score here at Jack Brandon Field. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This broadcast is brought to you by the Wheelersburg Buccaneers and by Deemer's Market. Of course, we'll have a, if anybody ever uh, scores, we might have a Deemer's chicken player. Right in the now, game. it's the pitcher. And also brought to you by Daddy Pop Central, the C store, High River Road, and 140. Daddy Pop. <laughs> Substitution now for the Pirates. Coming into pitch is number four left-hander Trey Carter, also the leadoff hitter. He is a sophomore. And that will move Coleman now. Or is he uh, number 17? Coleman still out there? Don't believe so. Don't believe so. He'll continue to bat. Yep. And here's the windup from Carter. That is a called strike right down Bonnie Camp, a little bit low, to White, number three, the hitter for Onyenoto. Wind up again. This one falls short in the dirt. Tried the off-speed pitch there, the curveball. It dropped on it a little too soon. Bottom fell out of it. It'll be one and one. 
Trey, the left-handed pitcher with a flat build cap, goes to the windup, delivers. That's in the dirt as well, and away. And it'll be two and one. Here's the windup, and that's high and away for a ball. He gets the ball up this time, but just keeping it away. And umpire definitely favors that uh, right side of the mm-hmm. plate compared to the left side of the plate. Does not like. <laughs> and wow. And there went strike, but uh, it's a ball, and a first batter is a walk for Trey Carter. Trey Carter. I think the umpire could probably do a little better if he got lined up. He stays little. on the he stays on that outside corner of the plate, no mm-hmm. matter what batter it is. So he's going to catch it for the righties, but the lefties, you'll never see that other That's side. Right. Carter throws over to first to check the runner. Runner gets back in plenty of time, but a pretty good move there by the lefty Carter. Yeah, it's preseason here. you got to practice those moves as well. He did that one well. Carter checking the runner and delivers to the plate. Nice pitch, but this one's poked into the outfield for another base hit. Runner going to stop at second. So with no outs, we have runners on first and second for Unioto. Carter with a walk and giving up a base hit here to start things off in the top of four. Now batting for Unioto, number 16, Burns. George Burns, number 16, George George Burns the fourth. Also related to Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, so Carter's uh, got himself into a little bit of a hole here. Uh, Left-handed pitcher out there, Carter. He's got two men on, on first and second, with nobody out here in the top of four. There's no score on the board. We'll see if Carter can work himself out of this hole. Here is the windup and the pitch. High for a ball. One and O is the count. If you would like a shout out today, 740-357-8085. Shout me out, I'll shout you back. And there's a shot. Oh. That's going to be a base hit. This is going to score a run. Nick Marvin gets the ball in with a nice throw into second. Cutoff man picks it up, and now we've got one run in, and runners on first and third for the Sherman Tanks. Now to bat for getting it to the pitcher, number eight, Patterson. Shout out to uh, Bucks, Buccaneers, defensive tackle Hunter Hall, who is turned tuned in. Hunter Hall, head Hunter Hall, also known as Triple H. Triple H, I like it. Carter with a nice throw over again. Nice move. Darnell with the tag, but not in time. Old school giving signals to the defense here. You know it's not officially a a regular season game to see the party crew out in the party deck. That's true. There's not one out there yet. No, No party deck in left field right now. And here's the pitch, left-handed Carter with a nice off-speed pitch. Gets the batter to swing. Patterson swinging a miss. It'll be 0-1. Runners still on the corners here. Hunter Hall comes to us from uh, West Union. West Union. He's a dragon. He's a dragon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still hungry for some football. That's good. He's going to get lots of it. Big, fast boy. Big, fast boy. Runner being held on by Darnell at first. Here's a poke to the second baseman. Double Double play ball. One. Over to first for two. Two. Run Run does does score. score. Ogan Ogre scores. 
but they get two outs. So a great play by the defense there. Good work by the infield, as uh, Carmichael Old School had called that out uh, before the pitch to be in position for that, and it was well done, well executed. Now batting for Unioto, the catcher, number 17, Book. And 17 is an open book. He will bat right-handed. Carter with the big delivery. Carter with a lot of movement on his uh, wind-up and delivery and then just fires a rocket out of there. Oh, the slow ball. Yep. Caught him on the off-speed pitch on the outside corner. Placed it perfectly. Now 0-2. Carter is in the groove. That thing looked like it stopped. Yep. Great change up. Now Carter agrees with the sign. Mm. Here's the, uh, it looked like a slider, but it gets in the dirt, and it'll be one and two. He checks the sign from uh, old school. Doesn't agree on the first. Doesn't agree on the second. Likes number three. Here's the pitch. Fastball right down. See. Bonnie Camp. Strike three. You're out. But Unioto gets some pay dirt there. They yep. get two runs on the board, and it'll be bottom of the fourth. Pirates coming to bat. Down by two. Thanks for tuning in to BergFan.com. Brought to you by Deemer's Market on Center Street in Wheelersburg, the capital building of Wheelersburg, and the Wheelersburg Buccaneers, as well as Triple H, Hunter Hall, and AK3 Antonio Keith, as well as Daddy Pop Central. Daddy Pop. Sea Store 140 and Ohio River Road. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back. Wish that I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on rocky top. Ain't no telephone bill. Once I had a girl on rocky top. The loop de loop spit a rooster. And the lines are the devil. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Once two strangers climbed old Rocky Top looking for a moonshine still. Strangers ain't come down from Rocky Top, reckon they never will. I, I never realized that corn doesn't grow on Rocky Top, did you? I mean, I never really put two and two together there. It's makes in the sense. song, but it, it does make sense. Can't grow corn on rocks. And Rocky Top, Tennessee, uh, I thought the Rockies were in Colorado. They are, but Tennessee can do what they want. Nope. It's true. True. Now, we got a new pitcher in. Uh, this guy's quite a bit older. As a matter of fact, they named him Elder. Elder. He is one of the elders at the uh, Unioto uh, Sherman Tank Church. Shout out to my little buddy Landon Schiltz. Devastated yesterday. Duke lost. Oh, Schiltz. Doesn't he have a beer? Make a beer like that's 99 cents a case? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Daddy Pop, I should say. Daddy, Daddy Pop. Pop. Yep. It's really cheap. And here comes Matt Kahn around the uh, home plate. He is not going to dig in and sprint to first base. But... He is probably the best third grade soccer player I've ever seen. Matt Kahn? Landon Schultz. Oh, Landon, okay. Yeah. But Matt Kahn's close. Matt Kahn was a good third grade soccer player. One of the best. He was the goalie, and they had him lay down. Yep. And no one scored. Exactly. Ever. Ever. Perfect uh, shutouts for Matt Kahn. Now he's the greatest first base coach of all time. Ever. And has uh, the biggest. And he's got a warrant probably up for his rest for all the gloves he's stolen. Yes, yes. He, uh, he's he got the biggest collection of stolen batting gloves in the world. Now up to bat for the Pirates, number 16, Even Dom. Even. Third baseman playing up even with the bag here. Everybody else at normal depth. Straight alignment. Here's the hit, and it is high out of play over into the cheap seat. It's going to take a hop and a skip. 
and it's safe. Again, Unierto leading two to zero here in the uh, bottom half of the fourth. Zero oh and one is the count to even Dom. Elder with the wind up, right-handed pitcher. This one's low and away. One and one is the count. So the pitcher Patterson for Unierto ended up with seven strikeouts, three walks, and never gave up a hit. Wow. Excellent outing for him. They'll pull him because this is a scrimmage. Don't want to, probably didn't want to go over the 50 pitch mark. True. High and inside for a ball there. That's up around playing a little chin music there on even Dom. Two and one. Here is the wind up and the pitch by Elder. This one's hit high in the air. Pop up infield. Second baseman. No, first baseman calls everybody off and makes the play. Put it way up there. But a good play by the first baseman to call everybody off and reel it in. That is now one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, sorry. That's uh, 18, Cole Dyer. This is Cole Dyer. All right. I'm going to get my Coles. Yep, back-to-back -back Coles. Yep. Swing and a miss by Cole okay. Dyer. Pirates still looking for their first hit. They have three walks. Yep, have had three base runners, but no hits. It's been kind of a thorn in the side of the Pirates, the uh, the batting. Ooh, what a hit. Nice curveball there. By Elder. That one started up around the letters and dropped right in Bonnie Camp. Yuck. Oh, and two. That took that sharp turn on Dogwood Ridge oh, perfectly. Yeah. Sideways. Again, the curveball. This time he gets around on it. He'll have a chance to run it out. And no, a great play by the third baseman and a good stretch by the first baseman. And that will be out. Number two here in the bottom of the fourth. Let's see if. Uh uh, I take that back. That was Cole Dyer. This is Cole Darnell. Okay, that was Cole Dyer. I was ahead of myself. Yep. Darnell, 28. Dyer, 18. Old school on deck. To Darnell, a left-handed hitter this time. Facing the right-handed pitcher with the flat bill. With the wind-up. Deliver. Fastball in the dirt. 1-0 the count. This feels good getting back in the uh, flow of baseball season here. It's not two degrees like it normally is. Right. You know, my last two, uh, last one and a half seasons, I've uh, been hindered by a different work schedule. This yeah. year I'm not, so I can get back into it. And uh, there's a dribbler down the first base side for Darnell, and he is out for out number three. Uh, one, two, three, inning four, the pitcher, Elder. Edler. Edler. Now Matt Kahn, he's running off the field with a helmet. Wow. He's moved up from gloves now to helmets. To helmet. And bats. And bats. Watch your car and watch your kids. Yep. Lock everything up because Matt Kahn is on the loose. Yep, it should be fun. We've got the first regular season game is Saturday yep. at the VA. We won't be there. Right. Um, they play, um, shoot. I just had a tip in my Jonathan tongue. Alder. Is that who it is? I think so. Yep. Um, and then we start our first regular season game at home versus South Webster. Uh, That's next uh, Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. Look. And then, obviously, they get a day break, and they play Webster again. That's the, how the SOC does it now. You, yep. You play like a series. So if you hear us play an SOC school, Odds are we either play them the next day or the day after. That there is, is a few that we play on Friday, and then we play on Monday. Okay. Um, okay. But not many. Let's see. Jared Shaw. Uh, we play Wednesday, the 29th, home opener, South Webster, 5 o'clock. Day off on Thursday. Friday, we will be heading to South Webster. And then uh, that following Saturday, again, back to the VA, which we won't be at, but... Yep, we will not be uh, carrying most of the weekend games this year. No Saturdays, because... We, uh, we want our fans to come out and enjoy those games. You yeah. know, Saturdays is your day off. Day you know? off. But we'll be here for you during the week when First you can't get here First two Saturdays are at the VA, so no reason you guys can't go up there and see that. That's right. And then um, the I think the next Saturday after there, it's like the uh, April 8th, 
home versus Portsmouth, so you guys should all be here. And then um, we don't have another one until we play in the Greenham County Tournament. So That's right. They are in uh, the Greenham County Tournament this year. They're also in one in Huntington, West Virginia, against the Highlanders. With on wooden a, bats, it's right? It's a wooden bat tournament. First game's on a Friday against Point Pleasant. If I tell you, if you want to see a baseball field. Wow. I can't wait. I can't wait. And here's the pitch from Carter. It's a line driver right to Darnell. So one pitch and one out. That was uh, up to bat with number six, Orton or Ooten. Randy Ooten. Randy Ooten. Rattlesnake Randy Ooten. Now batting number 11, Cottrell. Cottrell. Again, this broadcast is brought to you by Deemer's Market and the Wheelersburg Buccaneers. Wheelersburg Buccaneers open their season on May 27th at home. First pitch is low and in the dirt for a ball from Trey Carter. We was just talking earlier. The the gap between baseball and high school football was mind-numbing. Yep. And now the Wheelersburg Buccaneers have filled that void. We filled the void, and uh, and we're coming to put on a pretty good show. We've put together quite a talented team from around the region, and a lot of guys that uh, you won't know, but you soon <laughs> will. You will after the <laughs> first game. Yep. So Trey Carter now with a count of two and one, with one out here in the top of five, and throws the breaking pitch, and it's called a ball inside. Three and one is the count. Carter agrees with the first sign. It's a fastball. Poked into the outfield, but out of play. Lands right in Marty Brenneman's boat. He's going to have to get his fiberglass patched over there. I don't know why he parks his boat right there. It's crazy. More balls go right there than anywhere else. I don't even know why there's a dock there. (laughs) Swung on, popped up, and out of play. Over towards the concession stand. And lands in a... Ooh, ow. Landed right in a toddler seat. Hmm. Luckily, there was no toddler in it. Radar got it. Radar picked it up. <coughs> Wind up in the pitch. Again Ooh. fouled. Line drive hard over the dugout. And if that hit a car. That hurt. That hurt the car. There goes That's Shaw. Yeah. Shaw chasing it down. And he's <laughs> going to file an insurance claim. He's pretty good at picking up Shank Ball. He's a golfer. Yeah. His nickname is Shag. Oh, and there's a, a doubler. Oh, it's going to be quick. Texas Leaguer, and he's in there. Got him. Oh, got him out. What a play. What a charge by the second baseman there to make the play. JJ Stamper. job, Stamper. My guy. Ball had some backspin on it in this oh, slow yeah. grass, and uh, Stamper really had to charge on it, scoop it, and toss it over, and he got it done. Just barely, but I'm got it done. The Sherman Tanks number four, Kaiser. The Kaiser. The Kaiser. Carter w- w- opens Ooh. with a breaking ball, goes right across the strike zone, strike one. Lots of movement on that pitch. Again from the windup, quickly. Oh. Fastball inside, fouled off. It's a good thing we're not doing the wooden bat tournament today because they saw yeah. they're sawing people's hands off. Right they now. are. And it's a good thing we have lots of we're, baseballs. We're out of baseballs. Yeah, we are out of we baseballs. <laughs> Shaw, go get us some more baseballs, Shaw. He's over there talking. He's not yeah. paying attention. I think, he's, I think he's cutting the gravel. Yep. He likes to take his lawnmower over the gravel. He's one of those kind of guys. He's drawing... Uh, uh, Pee Wee football plays in the dirt. <laughs> Wind up, fastball, and it's hit. Ah, right over Stamper's head. Yep, yeah, that was a uh, a perfectly placed pitch for the batter. I mean, it was right down Bonnie Camp, right where you want it to be if you're the batter, and it was uh, didn't have a lot of heat on it. Uh, prevented it from being a home run, but uh, definitely a nice base hit right over second base. Now batting 22, Long Coy. Long Coy. He's uh, related to the Long Boy. Mm-hmm. And also uh, in in the offseason works at Longenberger Baskets. Nice. Throw over to first by Carter to check the runner. Runner back in time. Carter getting a good work out there on that. I wonder if that uh, hurt, hurts your pitch count if you throw over to first base like 700 so. times. I don't think so. Throws over again. So this will be my first full season hitting the road with you. Yes. 
What's your favorite road park? I know there, I know there's nothing quite like home, but uh, road park definitely yeah. would be the VA. Yeah, uh, I like the SOC VA. Wise. SOC wise, Ugh. I know. Ugh. Um, let's see. Not West. No. Not Waverly. Not Webster. I, I guess it would have to be Memphis. 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 I figured yep. Memphis or Oak Hill. I've never been to Oak Hills, but it looks pretty nice. Line driver to the second baseman, and Stamper he scoops again. it up. Stamper gets the third out of the inning, and we'll head to the bottom of five as Hunts, or not the Huntsman, but the the, Huntsman. Uh, the Sherman Tanks. The Sherman Tanks lead two to zero. Uh, Memphis has the nice they wall. Do. I like that. They have the wall and the lights. Yep. I have been kicked out of that stadium. Um, <laughs> I wanted to be kicked out because of Because I referred to them as Mule Town. Oh, yeah. And the uh, coach uh, said that sounded made them sound like Hicks. No. So, That's the name of the town. Yeah. I, I, I know. I tried to explain that. But he was in his underwear, and I didn't feel like fighting. <laughs> and uh, so I just went to the bleachers and, and uh, called that one with... Uh, Former Shawnee State baseball coach Jeff Ramey. Okay. And we had a good time. Wheelersburg won big. Of course. The shotgun did. Sam Robinson. Oh, shotgun. That game. Uh, Boom! It was his comeback game, and he knocked one out of the park after being uh, injured yep. early in the season. I don't know if you remember the I shot do. he took to the jaw. I wasn't here for that game, thank goodness, because um, it probably would have put me out for a couple games. It was. It was tough. It was. It was a, a very tough situation that. Pitch hit him square in the jaw, mm -hmm. and uh, man, you would have thought it shattered his whole face. And it did some, it did some damage. But he was able to come back later that season, and in his first at bat at Memphis, kaboom, kaboom, dead center field. Uh, not in the SOC, but uh, although I don't think we've got to do a game down there because of all the rain. But Portsmouth has a nice, yes, baseball field. Portsmouth does have a good facility. Yep. But no need to play them. They don't want to play us. Nope. But they will in the playoffs. Yes. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Week 11, you're coming to the end whether yeah. you like it or not. You're going to go 7-3. and three. You're going to make the playoffs. And, and you're going to be rewarded with a trip to the end. We're going to have Trojan Dave and Will Rob themselves. We're going to race the Jolly Roger again. That's right. That's right. Matt Kahn takes his place there at the first baseline. Claps seven times. That's for old school. That's for old school. And here comes old school into the batter's box. Crowds the plate like he should. Umpire adjusts to the inside part of the plate now. Swung on, hit hard by Carmichael. There's the first yep. base hit of the game for the old Pirates. School. Finally, he got around on that one nicely. He's flirting with second base, but he stays at first. And now coming to bat is number 11, uh, Ethan Tempanaris. Ethan Tempanaris. The X in uh, Ethan is silent. Might see a bunt. Yep, Carmichael with a uh, mediocre lead over there. Turns open that right foot. He may be taken off. No. And ball is low and away. The track is wet today. You can tell it's wet by just where the people are walking. Yep. Yep. It was well put together. I mean, it, oh, it's yeah. amazing that they're playing today. Anywhere else, this would have been canceled. Yeah. Not here. I doubt they're playing anywhere else around no. here today. Field looks immaculate. Swung oh. on here. It's hit hard to left field, but that's going to be Ooh. right in the left fielder's glove. It was a nice shot, but uh, just hit it where he was instead of where he wasn't. But Pirate Bats are starting to heat up. And here comes number 10, Jalen Miller, the shortstop. Let's see if he can get a rally going. Carmichael on first with one out. Pirates down by two here in the bottom half of five. Pitcher will throw a uh, curveball over to first base. Checking Carmichael there. Plenty time, grab another bite. Pitcher now from the stretch as there's a man on first. He will throw it. And it's hit hard, high and deep, but foul. foul. Ooh, that's down over Pirate Drive. That would have been a 
two-run tie and dinger. Yep. Got to straighten that one out, and Jalen Miller is on it. That sounded good. You can, you can probably close your eyes and call a game just by the way the bat sounds. Yeah, you probably could. Miller spits. Now doesn't choke up. Here comes the curveball, and it's a strike, called strike, and it'll be one, or oh and two, excuse me, with one out here in the bottom of five. Unioto's first two pitchers haven't been real fast, but they have a lot of movement on their ball. A lot of movement, and they place the ball very well. Check the runner at first for no reason. Terrible pickoff. That's, I hope to goodness that's not the move. Yeah. Niners, go get another bite. Swung on, hit hard. This one's high. May go out of play. It does go out of play. Hits into the batting cages over there. And it'll stay 0-2 with one out. Bottom of five. Caleb Coleman on deck. Unioto Sherman Tanks leading this game 2-0. Pirates have had one hit in the game, and that runner is on. That's Carmichael. He's on first base. From the stretch, the delivery. Whoa, that's way high. Good eye by Jalen Miller. He holds up on that one. It is one and two. Come on, go. Grab corners. Go. There's a little better throw over to first this time. At least he didn't, like, bowl it over there. He threw it. Uh, Carmichael back in plenty of time. Really worried about moving that runner to second here. Miller swung on. That is hit hard, high, and deep to right field. Right fielder chases it down, though. Nice contact. Nice swing. And uh, the right fielder out there was playing deep. He learned his lesson on the first one. Yes, he did. So Jalen Miller looking to add some power to this lineup this year. And uh, hopefully he can continue that, maybe get it a little bit further out next time. A lot of parks around here that have been gone. He's also a sophomore. Yep. All right, now Caleb Coleman at bat started off the game pitching. Had zero earned runs while he was in there. Yeah, he did well. 0-1 oh is the count with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Pirates with a man on, looking to get one across. No score on the board for the Pirates. Big hanging curveball doesn't fall into the zone, and it'll be one and one. If somebody can sit back on that big swinging no. curveball, and it lands in Bonnie Camp. It could be... Gone, gone, gone. There's the heater. It's high. And it'll be two and one now. Elder starting to work himself into deeper counts here. Carmichael still out there by himself on first base looking for a ride home. There's the throw over. And Carmichael slides back in under the tag safely. Pitcher checks the signs, now sets and delivers. Swing and miss. That's back against the backstop. That'll move Coleman out to, or excuse me, old school out to second. So now with two outs, two balls, two strikes. Pirates have a runner in scoring position at second base. A base hit here by Caleb Coleman should bring him home. Old school, a uh, bigger fellow out there, but he's also got uh, got some good wheels on him. And he swings at that one. It's in the dirt. Can he get there? Runs it out. No. The throw is in time by the catcher. A great play, so no score for the Pirates. Carmichael with the base hit. He's left stranded on second. And we'll go to the top of the six. Pirates down 2-0. to zero. Thanks for tuning in on BirdFan.com. Game Time Live. I'm the Duke of Earl alongside Eddie Miller, and we are brought to you by Deemer's Market. 
the Wheelersburg Buccaneers. I wish I was Eddie Miller. Eddie Miller. Did I call you Eddie Miller? <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. Eddie Deemer. Uh, Wheelersburg Buccaneers schedule this year. They will open the season uh, May 27th. First four games are at home. May 27th, they take on the Wildcats from Kentucky. Uh, June 3rd, they take on the Cincinnati Blue Devils. June 10th, the Queen City Hitmen. June 17th, the Mount Sterling Trojans. June 24th, the Cincinnati Colts. July 8th, the Louisville Hurricanes. July 15th, the Northern Kentucky Maniacs. July 22nd, uh, the Colts again for another division game. And Trojans, Maniacs, Hitmen all in the uh, same division as the Wheelersburg Buccaneers, which is called the Norse Division, uh, made up of teams from Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky and Ohio. Uh, we're the, we are the farthest eastern team in the, in the so league. So you go down to Tennessee? Yeah. They are, there are four divisions in our league, two conferences, a North and South Conference, and then each, uh, each conference is divided into two divisions. So there are teams from uh, the Nashville area, teams from Louisville, Evansville, uh, Indianapolis, uh, basically all over the Midwest. And uh, our furthest uh, regular season travel game would be to Louisville. Well, we look forward to that. And then, of course, if we make the playoffs, uh, we could travel to anywhere. Uh, I believe the championship game. Most of the playoff games will be neutral site hosted games, so we'll play somewhere in the middle, uh, probably in Louisville. And uh, if we if we happen to win our league and get ranked high in the polls, we could be in Florida playing in a national championship game in the middle of the winter. Bam, we'll take it. Those games occur right after the uh, college bowl games. Nice. Played at Spec Martin Stadium, mm-hmm. where uh, the Water Boy was filmed. Nice. Yep is uh, between Orlando and uh, Daytona Beach. Gotcha. There are also some other bowl games as well. That's the national championship. There are other bowl games uh, in uh, Louisiana and a couple around our region as well. Here's the pitch by Carter. It's the first pitch curveball, finds Bonnie Camp, strike one. Fife up to that for Uni Oto. Barney Fife. Wearing black Nikes with the white swoosh. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Again, we don't know when this game is over tonight. They're going to play till they're done playing. Probably when it gets too dark. Carter with the wind up high and inside. A little chin music to back the batter up, and it's one and two. Good pitch there with the no and two count. Not sure what the umpire said to uh, old school there. He said, thank goodness she caught it. Yeah, probably so. That is strike three, dropped by the catcher, but it tagged right at the plate. And we'll throw it around the horn. Take a seat, Fife. Bonnie. Bonnie. Trey Carter's first strikeout. Yep. Yep, Edler. Edler is up. So Trey Carter did not start the game. Had a, a bit of a rough first inning. He had a uh, he had a walk and then he had a solid hit and a blue. Yep. Nothing awful. Nothing awful, but he has definitely gotten into the groove here now. First pitch there, a nice knuckling curve ball, and it's called a ball. No time box sending in the signs. Carter will agree. Delivers. Fastball. Hit to the shortstop. Shortstop Miller scoops. Throws over. And it is in time to Darnell. Nice play by the Pirate infield there. And it's uh, two up and two down. Unio Joe sending up number three. White. Jesco White. Jesco. <laughs> Dancing outlaw. <laughs> You're not from around here in Cisco. He's wearing camo under his armpits. First pitch is a strike on the outside corner. 0 and 1. The umpire's calling everything a strike now. He wants yep. to go home. 
I think Dancing with the Stars is on or something. Yeah. Carter, the left-hander, delivers. Yeah. This is a poke, and it's going to roll foul. foul. That could have been dangerous right there. Probably a double, but it curved just foul. Runner was already halfway between first and second by the time that thing hit the ground. And his pants are way too baggy. Yep. His shirt's too big. He's one of those. Yep. He's already lost about 30 pounds between the jersey try on and first game. May have, may have. Yep. At least his underwear is not showing. The umpires is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Under Ruse. Ooh. Carter delivers the high heat, but it's a ball. One and two. That made the batter flinch, and it wasn't even anywhere near him. Let's listen to that heat coming in. Two and two is the count. I'll crank up that field mic for you. Listen to this heat coming in. Curveball hit down to first base. Scooped up by Darnell. That'll be the third out of the inning, and we'll head to the bottom of six. Pirates down 2-0. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. Rally cap time, baby. Rally cap time. We'll be right back. We're going to take a quick break. Let you listen to uh, whatever comes up next. Older and fatter by the minute and uh, tries to get around home plate. Has to take a wide like angle. A, like watching a snail. Yeah, it is. And, oh, oh, look oh, at him. Oh. He gets up into a trot. Whoa. He's all the way down. Oh, man, he ran almost 20 that feet. That yeah, he's going to be sore for a week. But he did lose 30 pounds just right there. <laughs> Nick Marvin. Nick Marvin at bat for the Pirates. Takes the first pitch. Here's the delivery. Watches it go by. It'll be a strike. Now, are we still under agreement if, if they don't win, there is no player of the game? That's correct. Yeah, That's we, don't, correct. we don't give participation trophies out. No participation trophies at Bergfan.com. you got to win the game before you get any chicken. Yep. How did the uh, Buccaneers like their chicken? Uh, they were, uh, <laughs> let me just say, they smashed it. <laughs> I saw a couple people that didn't make practice were quite not too happy. Yeah, they yeah, did. yeah. They should, uh, they should come to practice. Uh, they, you never know what you're going to miss out on. It takes to get you to practice. Well, that's fine. <laughs> See ya. Big hanging curve ball, strike three, and Marvin will have to take a seat back in the dugout. Nice, uh, nice three pitches there. Here comes a big J.J. Stadler. J.J. Fad, J.J. Stanford in the house. Steps into the batter's box. Nice little waggle there. Hits it down third baseline, but foul.
J.J. Stamper wears number one for the Pirates. At least that's what he wears in gray. We don't know. We don't know the... The white numbers. I don't know what that's about. Mm -mm. That one's in the dirt. Blocked up nicely by the catcher. And it'll go one and one. So is there any places, uh, baseball-wise, you don't get good reception? Um... Northwest, maybe? Northwest, we cannot do. There is no reception no there. No reception. You can't there. do a, a game at Northwest. That is correct. West Portsmouth is sketchy. Oak Hill, at Webster. Best. Oak Hill is good. You yep. get, we go up on top of the hill and watch the game from the top of the hill. There's no press box, so yep. uh, we sit in the car, which is nice. That is nice. Mm -hmm. It's like having our own sky box. Swing and a miss by Stamper there. Swung at the curveball. It was low. Two and two. Now the count. Not a very confident swing there on that one. Nope. Usually happens when you're chasing one. And two and two. Even count. Here comes the pitch. Fastball swung on. Hit high in the air, but foul. The Reds lost again today. Reds? Nine to one. Nine to one? Yeah. That's not too bad. They scored. Got a run across. It's a preseason game or spring training. Mm. Pitch looked good, but it's low. Now it's two and two. Good eye by the batter. Wind up. Pitch is outside. Ball four. Ball four. So, uh, the Pirates' fourth walk today. Fourth walk, fifth bat, uh, base runner today. And still no score on the board for the Pirates here in the sixth inning. I think uh, we got a pitch hitter here. Number yes, we 21. do. Number 21 comes well, into bat. I don't have him. Dads might know. That's, uh, that's Cameron Cam Howard. Yeah. It's Cameron Howard. What do I has he been four, 21 all night? Yep. Oh. Crazy jerseys. I think the roster's all messed up. Yeah. We got deked. I think uh, Heimbach must have wrote that out. I think he's doing it in numerical. Yeah. Like the, the abbreviation for 14 is 21. Exactly. <laughs> yep. It's divisible by seven. Yep. He was thinking football. It's okay. Outside for a ball. Make it one and one to Cameron Howard with one out. One runner on for the Pirates. A, uh, we do have a pitch hitter on deck. That's Connor Mullins. Connor Mullins. All right. First we'll see of him in 2017. And here's the pitch. Swung on and missed on the high fastball. The high heat gets Cameron Howard. And it's one and two. Swung on, hit high in the air. This may stay in play. It will not. Just over the fence and out of play. And Radar chasing that one down. Yep. He'll dump that one in the hot dog sauce. Yep. Radar got some hot dog sauce on his face. As usual. Howard, the left-handed batter, facing a 1-2 count. Delivery on the curveball. And that one stays just high. Call it a ball. Two and two with one out. Swing and a miss. Howard goes down. That was a nice heater on the outside portion of the plate. Howard couldn't catch up to it. And here comes number two. Connor Mullins. Connor Mullins. Thought he had a sleeve tattoo there, but it's not. It's camouflage Under Armour. Yep. 
See what he can do. Man on. If he puts one out of the park, he can tie this one up. Swung on. Hit hard. Where's he been all night? Base hit. Nice line drive over the second base bag. And that puts two runners on with two outs and here another, in the bottom of six. Another pitch hitter. Number three, Jadron Guthrie. Jadron Guthrie, number three, coming in the bat. Left-handed hitter. And umpire is going to put a new ball into play as uh, that cover was knocked off the one before it. Yep, it's gone. First pitch, low and away for a ball. One and O. Oh. The Pirates, one good hit here could tie it up. One nothing. really good hit could win it. Yeah. Depending on when the game ends. That's we, true. We don't know. We might be here for a while. We might. They're covering up that runner on second. Here's the hit, high and foul out of play. Got another pitch hitter on deck, Matt Marshall. Marshall, the mailman on deck. And um, hope, hopefully you guys are enjoying the sound effects today. Those are... Uh, Live sound effects from the field as we have our uh, field mic. Snuffy Smith's got it down there. And you can uh, hear the crack of the bat, the smack of the glove. You can hear when somebody touches the backstop. <laughs> and you can hear Coach Step saying, Come on, babe, come on, babe. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Short lead by both runners here with two outs. No need to take any chances there. Ball is high and away. That is ball three. Three and one is the count. Here we go, Jadron. Jadron could load him up here with a good eye. And Tell you what. Matt on. Marshall looks like he's got to get into a ball. Yeah, he looks like he's got some power over there. Uh, the dad. In reserve. Low and inside. Both runners advance. Full count. Full count. Yeah. He swung on that here, one. Here we go, babe. Check swing. Both runners do advance, though. Runners on second and third. So both runners in scoring position. Tying run out at second. Two outs in the bottom of sixth. And this is Jadron Guthrie. Guthrie. Jadron Guthrie, number three, left-handed hitter in a good position here to help out his team. Will he occupy first, or will he drive in two? Swung on, grounder, first baseman's there, and nobody there to cover. Safe! Oh! Ow! Nice play by the pitcher to get over and cover, and that will be the third out of the inning. Pirates come up empty again, strand two, and we'll head to the top of seven. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here on BirdFan.com, brought to you by the Wheelersburg Buccaneers and brought to you by Deemer's Market. We'll be right back. New pitcher coming in for the Pirates now is Cole Darnell, number 28, moving over from first base. See if he can't uh, keep this at a two-run lead for the Sherman Tanks 
as the meat of their order is coming up the bat. Darnell maybe looked at to be a closer this season. We'll see. That's how he's being used today. Uh, here, down by two runs, but nothing to close out here. But he does want to keep it at a two-run uh, lead. Think five pitch. I'd say so. Yep. A little bit. Yep. All pitchers had their uh, pitch counts kept low today as yeah. we rotated in and out, so they sh everybody should be eligible to pitch tomorrow if the need arises. Of course, Coach Eastet may want to look at a few different arms in there too, so you yeah. never know. I would say they're all probably going to get a little work because they don't. Their first game's not until Saturday, right? And then after Saturday, they don't play until Wednesday, so yep. technically, they can pitch as much as they want for the and first game. True. Uh, coming into bat now is uh, Logan Hogan or Rogan. Or Ogar. Or Ogar. And here comes Darnell, the lefty. He's been doing this for a while, has Darnell with a nice wind up and great delivery. Big extended arm, and it is strike one. Darnell from the wind up, high leg kick again. The heat. It's a little bit high and outside. One and one. Darnell settles into the windup, delivers high ball, fastball. It's three straight fastballs. One right down Bonnie Camp and two high. He's been now playing first base uh, so far all day today. Trey Carter takes over for him at first base, and there is ball three again high on the fastball. Darnell going to check his release point there on his pitch and see if he can't straighten it out here on his fifth pitch of the seventh inning. He does, but it's inside. Called a strike. Full count. Oh, and a nice pitch. Froze the batter up there on the check swing, but he went, and it was a strike. Strike three. One up, one down for Cole Darnell, number 28. And Cole Darnell, a senior this year, I believe. I believe so. Seniors for this year's team, Cole Darnell, Caden and Caleb Coleman. Alex Thompson, Nick Marvin, Brandon Denny, and J.J. Stamper. There we go. There's your seniors for 2017. First pitch is fouled off. And it'll be 0-1 to uh, George Burns the fourth. I think the catcher and umpire are going out to eat afterwards. I'm pretty sure uh, Carmichael uh, and the umpire have been around each other quite a bit. Of course, Carmichael's been around this game since he's old school. Since yeah, I mean he's old school. He he, he was playing before Jack Brannan. Jack Brannan, exactly. The high leg kick delivery strike two. I think he's the only player to be on the '96 and the 2000 state championship team. Correct, correct. And he was on the first ever Wheelersburg football team in 1930. Yes. Inside for a ball. One and two. That was a good pitch. Get the batter to back up just a hair, and now we'll bring that heat right back in. I'm calling the heater, and it's going to be a swing and a miss right here. Curveball. Tony, a curveball. Darnell with the curveball. He gets him. Yeah. Strike See three. You. Sorry, Take Burns. Take a seat, Mr. Burns. <laughs> I literally froze that kid. You see him? He just stood there. <laughs> Yep. You look like Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> yeah. Where's your nose, Frosty? There's Patrick Patterson. Ooh, Patterson up to bat. His medium helmet. Straight out of UK with his camo under his armpits. Foul <laughs> back into my face. <laughs> Sounds like you're at a Death Lover concert. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to we got to get that kid a new helmet. That's driving me nuts. Yeah, it's way too small. Looks like he's playing T-ball. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Swing and a miss by Patterson. 0-2 now with two outs. He's, he's looking to strike out the side. Darnell, will he strike out the side? Will it be good morning, good afternoon, good night? We'll find out. Big curveball outside there, just a waste pitch. Batter looks kind of bored. Yeah, he does. He's standing there like, yeah, I'm playing baseball. Yippee. My hat's way too small. Mom made me do it. Yep. I hate this yellow belt. That's in the dirt. Two and two. Patterson wearing the Under Armour cleats. Ooh. Must be sponsored. Yep. Darnell with the high leg kick. The heater. This one's hit high and foul. Out of play. Landed uh, Richard Rowe caught that one. Had a Snickers in one hand and caught it with the other. Nice, nice catch, Rich Rowe. Rich Rowe. Rich Rowe, are you sitting in? I'm in the first row. <laughs> Darnell with the windup. This one's inside, almost clips the batter, but doesn't. And it's two and two. Somebody from the popcorn gallery yeah. said, "Where are you throwing?" Yeah. Let's uh, let's mic up the popcorn gallery. Yeah. Here is what you're gonna hear. We're not responsible for anything said from the popcorn gallery. High and away in a ball. Now batting Taylor. Tim, the tool man, Taylor. Yep. Tool time, number 27, Tim Taylor. Carmichael gets a uh, fresh ball from the dugout. The rubber ball. Yep. Ran out of baseball. It's called Shaw. Uh, only bought two. For the whole year. Yep. Whole season. That's a called strike on the inside part of the plate. He got a plate. heck of a deal. Rubber bouncy ones from Kmart. Yes, he did. Yeah, yep. That big 90, basket they have there. 90% off. 90% Paid off. 34 cents for 8,000 balls. Wow. I mean, got to give him credit for that. High and away for a ball. One and one. Swing and a miss by Tim the Toolman Taylor. That'll make it one and two. And, you know, I really don't like to talk about Shaw's balls, but he has to get more than two for the season. I would think so. Yeah. I think he knows better. And this yeah. is a scrimmage, so. Yeah. He's definitely no Chris Porter. Definitely not. Nobody could live up to that. Nope. Come on, Fouled away. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Here, nowhere near Bonnie Camp. Well, I'm thinking about it. Are you going to Pirate Treasure? No, I am not. What? No, no, I am not. I have a, uh, uh, a commitment otherwise. Oh, that sounds sketchy. It is sketchy. <laughs> it's buccaneery. Yeah. Arg. Okay, here's a 200 meter dash going on in the background. Sounds like they're running on rocks. Yep. Three. Called strike three and Darnell. Gets it. Looking. Backwards K. Struck three out of the four batters out. Yep. And we'll head to the bottom of seven. Pirates down two to zero. Man, might, they would love to get a run might, across. Might be the last inning. Could be the last inning. It is getting darker out here. So see, we'll see. I think Unioda is going to throw a new pitcher out there. Yeah. Yeah. Number six. Bringing in the closer. What's his name? His name is Ogre. No, not no. the Ogre. I can't see that far. Let's just call him uh, Cornstalk. Cornstalk. All right. Cornstalk's going to get a few warm-up pitches in, and first one looks good. Patterson, he's going to head out to left field, I believe. Burns is catching. Number 
Cornstalk Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk. Cornstalk. Yeah, he's a cornstalk. Yep. Yep. Strike. And we have not had an appearance at all today from uh, Jack Wells Jr. Nope. He was supposed to be in from Jacksonville today. Uh, he stopped in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and had a, a flat tire and had to jack his car up. Now and, I don't know everybody on the Buccaneers team, but is there truly a guy <coughs> named Rumpelstiltskin? Rumpelstiltskin, yes, that is his. Uh, his real name is Andre Canada. Okay. Yes, but his uh, Facebook name is <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Yes, that's but, fantastic. Uh, uh, he is uh, Andre Canada. He's a he's a veteran receiver, probably in his fourth fifth season. Mm-hmm. Um, fastest guy you'll probably probably have ever seen at uh, Ed Miller Stadium. Wow. He his nickname is Bands because his hamstrings are so tight and they just look like bands. You can't even see him. So uh, he'll be a starting receiver for us, no doubt about it. And uh, we look for uh, him to stretch the defense big time. Great hands, and he, he's a, a great teammate. Good, uh, uh, good guy to help bring guys together, keep guys fired up, pick up a teammate when he's down. And he'll also, uh, he's not afraid to take a uh, shot over the middle. You want to hit him on a slant route in front of a linebacker, he'll take it. Got a little Heinz Ward in him. He does. Yep. Matt Marshall leading it off for the Pirates in the bottom of the seventh inning. Strike one. And we call him Andre Canada from America. I like yeah. it. Strike two. Cornstock's not messing around. No, he's not. Cornstock wants to get out of here, get home, and uh, water his corn. Because rain makes corn, and corn, corn makes, makes daddy whiskey. pop. Oh, daddy pop. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can get at the C store. That's right. On 140 or Ohio River Road. Here's the pitch, and again, towards the batter's head, he takes the ball, and it's two and two. And this is Randy Orton on the mound, Cornstalk. Oh. Cornstalk Randy Orton. So he could RKO us at any time. Yes. And that's away for a ball. Now we got a full count hmm. to the nice mailman. to get the leadoff runner on here. Yes, it would. We can pop on those rally caps and uh, try to... Bring home a win here in the first scrimmage for the Pirates. And Ooh, swing and a him. miss. Just a little bit behind that one on the fastball. And that'll be strike three. One out. Here comes. We've got a pinch hitter in now yep, for the 26, Pirates. Six, Alex Thompson. Alex Thompson coming in. He was a uh, right-handed hitter. Steps into the bat. He's got a bright orange bat that I like. Wish, uh, Kind of wish all the guys would use orange bats here in Wheelersburg. Cool. But. I don't think the collar really matters. What to do with it. That's right. First pitch is a called strike on the outside portion of the plate. Again, Pirates down two to nothing here in the bottom of seven. Randy Orton with the delivery. It's just off the outside edge on a cutter. One and one is the count. From the full wind up now. Delivered. Fastball oh. right back into the backstop. Man, fouled off. That might have been a direct hit. One and two is the count. <laughs> I'm glad I bought uh, several microphones <laughs> for that to purpose this year because we may lose a few in the process. It's been hit eight times today. Yeah. <laughs> Swung on, hit hard, but it's a grounder right to second base. Should be an easy out, easy throw, and it is. Out number two here in the bottom of seven. Brings up Trey Carter. Trey Carter. So we're back to the top of the lineup here for the Pirates with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. It's going to take uh, a couple pokes to get on base. And then uh, uh, number three hitter, that would be Cole Dyer, number 18, coming in to uh, hit a home run. And we can get out of here. Trey Carter, left-handed hitter, left-handed pitcher. He's in the bat now. 
Digs in. First pitch. Outside corner. Call a strike. 0 oh and 1 now the count. Once again, don't forget, we'll be back in action tomorrow right here. Galpolis. That's right. Last scrimmage. Taking on the uh, Green Blue Devils. There's a poke by Carter. It's a pop-up. Charging is the left fielder, and he gets there. That will be the third out of the seventh inning, and we're going to wait and see if this one's over or if they're going to continue on. A glove and some action, and we're not done. We're not done. We're going to eight innings, maybe. Maybe not. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, as the Pirates take the field and... Uh, Everybody's confused. Unioto is confused. Unioto is ready to get out of here. And the Unioto coach is saying he can't see the ball very well. I don't think Unioto wants to go on. That's it. Nope, That'll down. be it. Well, we uh, we win. Unioto forfeited. That's so. right. Unioto forfeits after Sweet. seven, and Pirates win the game. The so, well, Pirates win one nothing due to forfeit. And nobody gets chicken. Nobody does, except for me and you. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'll bring it tomorrow. Thanks for the chicken, everybody, and thanks for tuning in here on Berkfan.com again. It's brought to you by Deemer's Market, the C Store, and the Wheelersburg Buccaneers. And congratulations to. Uh, the Sherman Tanks played a great game today, yep. and the Pirates, uh, things look good this year for the Pirates. Yeah, pitching, no. pitched well, one bad inning, got a few untimely hits. Yep. Um, usually this time of the season, nobody's hitting the ball real well, not to mention it's nasty outside and it's cold. Right. And it feels like we should be playing football, but we live in Ohio, so it's baseball season. That's right. I like what I saw out of all three pitchers the yep. Pirates had today. And Lots the ace of, wasn't uh, even here. Well, I don't even think they got an ace. Per se, no, but, but uh, one of the starting pitchers. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yep. So, and, uh, so yep. things look good for 2017 for the Pirates. We're fired up. Come out yep. and check them out. And tune in for weekday games here on Bergfan.com. Thank you.